hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to use a regular expression with your C sharp windows form application so what is re a regular expression uh, when you see on the Wikipedia page and when you see there a regular expression or it's also abbreviated as a regex or reg xp is a sequence of text which is used to uh, match patterns okay so i will give you an example then you will be able to understand uh, fully but it's a pattern which is used to match with certain pattern so regex help us to match the patterns right and Wikipedia page has very good explanation how to use a regex and what is regex so if you can read this uh, page you will be able to understand fully what is a regular expression but now let's mm, let me give you an example and uh, how you can use this regular expression with your C sharp application and then maybe you will be able to understand so right now I have this application where I log in and I have this page loaded and I can see the images I can load the table I can load the charts and I can insert or save delete or update values right and I have here some fields like employee ID, first name, last name, age, gender and date of birth. And for example, now I want to add a new field here for email ID. So I want to enter the email ID of an employee. So how can I do that? First, uh, I will not show you how to save email ID in your database because it uh, that you already know if you are following these videos one of the uh, beginning videos I have shown you how to save the data but in this video I will show you how to use regex with your email ID expression and validate your email ID with the help of uh, regex so for example I want to enter the email ID of an employee here so what I will do I will first close this and I will add a text box here and I will name it as in the properties I will name it as text email okay so I have this text box whose name is text email and let me take a button this is just for an example uh, after you understand the concept you can always go and use this uh, text box information to save the values so this is just for an example how to use regular expression oh, okay so first thing you need to take is this text box and this button just double click this button and here we will add uh, the code for the regular expression so first I will go at the top I need to import one namespace here so go at the top and import using system dot text dot regular expression okay so C sharp provide this library to use regular expression now once again I will go to my form let me change this uh, button text also so it will be clear so I will name it as validate regex for example okay so this is my validate regex 
just double click it once again and in here I will write my code so what I will write is declare a regex variable like this regex I will give my variable name as rx for regex is equal to new regex and bracket and bracket closed and inside this bracket I will pass the expression which I want to match so this is the text box for the email and I don't want uh, the user to be able to enter any anything so for example when I run the program and this is for email so the user can enter something blah 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 and it will uh, take this text when you save this text it will take this text uh, literally as this entered text and it will not validate whether it's a valid email id or not but i want to validate this email id so uh, our email id uh, has some format like alpha numeric at the rate alpha numeric dot com so our email id has uh, this format right it has the username at the rate of the email provider dot com right so i want the user should uh, enter email id in this format only then it will be saved otherwise it should not be saved so how can i do that with the help of a regular expression i will show you so i will paste the same format here so email id takes alphanumeric value a to z capital or uh, lower case and numerical values 1 to 9 right and here also a to z capital or lower and numerical values and after dot it takes three uh, uppercase or lowercase letter not number but letters right so now this is uh, my regex code and in here I want to enter that format which I want to validate which is this format of email so what I will do here is I will enter first I will enter this um, square brackets and inside this I will give my limits right I will give the limit the first letter can be alphanumeric which can take a to z uppercase or lowercase or numerical values so I will give a to z and without giving any space just give capital A to Z and without giving any space give 0 to 9 so this is uh, the type of format which this word can take A to Z lowercase A to Z uppercase and 0 to 9 numerical values then it has to take a at the rate symbol so I will write at the rate and then once again it takes the alphanumerical values but before that we can also give the length what length this can take here we can also define so here define just I will cut this it will be here sorry so at the rate is outside my square bracket right but before at the rate I can define my limits so for example I want the limit for this word to be 1 to 20 letters so you can enter up to 1 
to 20 characters or numerical values in the first letter then at the rate and then once again I it's a alpha numerical value so I will just copy this thing and paste it after my at the rate then comes the com this dot sign okay so I will give dot here and then comes it can be comma or uh, com it can be code it can be uh, some two letter word or three letter word right so this will come as it is small letter or capital letter but it cannot contain 0 to 9 values right so I will delete it it can take a to z capital or a to z lowercase after this dot then uh, here I can define the length so it can be it cannot be a such big value like 1 to 20 it can be two letters or three letters so two to three letters the last word can have after this dot right and when you when you are writing a uh, regular expression you start with this cap symbol and end with this dollar sign okay so I think uh, you may understand this and if you are not able to understand just read a little about regular expression on the Wikipedia page it's it has a very good explanation what this uh, cap is what this dollar is and how to use these regex right and then you will be able to understand so I write this and now I match this with what so I will give a condition if and close it with these brackets and I will write here not equal to and then I will copy this Rx variable from here to here dot is match and then our value so what is our value this regular expression we are matching whatever we will enter in the email text right so this is the text I will copy the name of this text which is text email from here go to the code once again and inside this is match bracket I will pass it dot text so it takes the email ID from this text box it checks for the format if it's correct and if it's not correct it will give you some message like message show so you can write here email format is not correct else you can uh, write once again in the message box you can give email format is correct okay so if we enter the wrong email which is not in this format it will give us some error like this email format is not correct so let's try and run the program so run it user ID password is correct now I enter here some wrong email ID for example I write ABC at the rate gmail dot and after 
dot i don't give anything but it according to my condition it should take two letters right so it will give me error so i pre when i press this validate regex it gives me email format is not correct but when i give dot com for example and once again i press this it says me email format is correct let's check here also first alphanumerical values it takes 1 to 20 so i'm not giving any anything so once again it gives me error email format is not correct and when i give something once again the message is email is correct similarly for this when you delete the second alphanumerical values it gives me email format is not correct and when i give some correct value it shows me email is correct so with the help of uh, regex uh, function you have validated the format of this email id okay so that is the advantage of uh, this uh, regex function so from the next time whenever you come across uh, some kind of validation just consider the regular expression code first because it might help you in some way or the other so i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, now just the saving of this data or email id is remaining so just double click it and you if you are following these videos you know what this code is and you just need to add one more field for the email here right so you can do that i i'm sure if you are following these videos so that i'm not going to cover but I, I think you understand the concept how to validate some pattern with the help of regex so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now